Hey everyone, welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and today I thought I would compare reds. I would compare lug reds, so all the different reds that lug is currently carrying. Um, I don't have any of the older ones, anything past, say, three years ago. Um, so these are the only reds. I'm talking real reds. I'm not going to talk about the wine reds or anything like that. Um, these are the actual, like, true red colors. So um, I know there's always questions as to which one is darker, which one is lighter, which is orangier. So I thought I would try to show you side by side by side all the different reds that I think are currently in existence. So if I'm missing one, please let me know in the comments. I feel like I tried to go through it all. Um, now I don't have all of the, you know, like anything where there's like red in the print, um, which I, again, I'm still not even sure if, I, if I've missed anything. Um, but anyways, that being said, I tried to bring all at least the ones that they are currently selling. So it is um, May, 2022. Um, I don't have anything further back than from say three years ago. So I know that Red has existed in Lug's uh, collection for many, many years. Unfortunately, I don't have those ones. So, um, so I just thought I'd show you what they look like at least side by side. Now, obviously, depending on the screen that you're watching this on, you're not going to get a completely accurate read. Um, so what I thought I would try to do, especially since if you don't have one of these reds at all and you're still trying to debate, um, I did bring another red <laughs> to, um, to introduce to you just so that maybe this is something you guys have in your household you can, you can purchase or you can look at and see so that you can compare a regular red with whatever's in this collection. So I have this guy. Um, it's the Resolve <laughs> um, Stain Remover. I have looked all over my house. I've been looking for ages because I wanted to do this video for a little while. And as soon as my flare poppy red came in, I really wanted to make this video. But I have been looking all over my house to see if I can find something that um, is red that you can get anywhere that both Canadians and Americans have. It was hard. Um, and if there wasn't anything red, it was like, you know, like this big and you couldn't really, really see it. So this is the best I could do. Um, I hope that this color is the same across the board. I don't know if Americans and Canadians have different color resolves. Um, I'm assuming they're the same, but I know that we both carry the same product. So hopefully this will give you a little bit of a color reference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare them side by side, and then I'm going to compare them next to the resolve. So, um, so first of all, let's just introduce all the different reds. So let's kind of go with like, the most recent and the one I have that's I'm most excited about, which is this one. So this is the flare two in the poppy red, and that is probably the brightest red. And then I'm going to move down to the crimson large dot. And it is, it's been around for a while. There's a fair bit of this color around. Um, Lug has made a number of items in this print. The next one I have here is the Buffalo Check Red. There's also a Buffalo Check Blue, but this is the Buffalo Check Red. Again, a lot of different things have been made by Lug in this color. Um, this is my coupe. Um, that's the Flare 2. And this is the um, part, well, the insulated bag of the Chariot um, organizational set. So that's that one. And then this one here is a little Metro in the, um, Rosewood red. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure. I'm still not sure this is red. This is one of those weird ones. Now I unfortunately don't have a true bouquet red. This is the only bouquet red I have. Um, this is the bouquet red in that, um, in that softer fabric. So it's not the regular nylon that Lug usually makes. This is that, um, is that breathable fabric? I forget what it's called. Um, but anyway, so it's, it is, I'm hoping the exact same color as the other bouquet red. Um, I actually have never really seen, oh, here we go. <sighs> Sorry, that's my cat sumo. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, so yeah, so uh, I'm hoping that this is the exact same color as what the nylon is. So again, let me know in the comments if this is not quite the same. I, I have seen it on the, in the regular fabrication. And it looked very much the same. So, but again, I have, I don't actually own that, so I could be completely off. So do let me let me know. Okay, so those are the reds that we're working with. So I guess I'm gonna sort of talk about which ones I think are the brightest reds. So if you were to choose like a true true red, the truest red I would have to say is the poppy red, and then probably right next to it would be the bouquet red. And I'm really hoping that these are a really good color sort of representation for you. I think those two are probably the closest 
in color. So if you have anything bouquet red and you have anything poppy red, they will be a pr almost an exact match. Obviously, they probably won't be exact, but it should give you a really, really, really good red. So if you're a true red fan, these are the two prints that you're looking at. So it's the bouquet red. I probably should take this actually right off the card. Um, so yeah, so the bouquet red is pretty much the same. Oops. Um, it almost blends in now in my because it's a different fabrication This looks a little bit more orange So the bouquet red looks a teeny bit more orange But I don't know if it's because it's the fabrication and so it doesn't have the same sheen therefore it doesn't reflect the light the same way um, This has a little bit more of a sheen because it's got it because it has that sheen It might reflect some of the red a little bit more or some the light off a little bit more So it looks a little bit more red than this one. This one has a little bit of an orangier sort of undertone to me. So, and again, it could just be because it's sitting next to the green. I don't know. But if I had to choose the two that are probably the closest, I would say those two. So if you had like a bouquet red strap, um, if you had bouquet red accessories, if you had, um, you know, a bouquet red larger wheelie bag, for example, that would look really, really good together. So anyway, so I would say those two are the closest. And then the next brightest red would be the crimson large dot so again let's compare that so you can see there they're pretty close um probably should do this that's probably a better so now the bouquet red and the crimson sorry and the poppy red are the brightest i would probably say this is probably the brightest that comes down a little bit this has a slight tinge of a bluer tone than the bouquet red again don't know if it's the application, so let me know. Um, and as far as the crimson large dot, it's ever so slightly deeper. It's a slightly deeper red. It's got a little bit more of a blue in it, like a more of a bluey, sort of almost purple hint to it. Um, so it matches that black really well. Um, and it really makes that white pop. So they're they're not the exact same red. I would I I would probably carry those two together. But they're not the same so if you're really really looking at something that are identical they are not the same red but they're pretty close they're they're more they're not the same family red but they don't look bad together like i think that that would be fine so if you had crimson large dot accessories you could definitely put that with your poppy red um and not look like it's a whole different kind of red okay so let's look now at the this one so this is the um, buffalo check red it's gonna be a little bit harder to Oh, that's what's going on. Um, there's something inside here. It's kind of wondering what was rattling around. Okay, so it's a little bit harder to see because you're only getting a tiny little square at a time. But let's see if we can get those two side by side without the black. I hope that you can see that a little bit. So it is a deeper red as well. Now, obviously, because it's sitting next to the black, it will definitely look a little bit darker. But if you were to see the two side by side with the... Um, with the poppy red it again it has a little bit of a darker color to it um i would if i now okay so here's the thing when you put these two together when you put the crimson large dot and the and the and the buffalo check red the buffalo check red looks a teeny teeny little bit darker this one looks a little bit more orangey than the buffalo check red when they when you see the two side by side but you know what i actually think maybe these two they just the, the colors look a little bit different because one's next to white and one's next to black but if i had to choose i think that those two are virtually there was, these two work together better i don't know if you can see i, don't, I really don't know how, how i can show you this but if it were the way i'm looking at it these two reds even though they're they look so very very different if you put the just the red side by side i would think that these two reds are the closest so it just looks so different because this is against a white and this is against a black so if you were looking to for a deeper red this looks like it's deeper even though I, the actual red i think is probably almost the same as this one um and this looks a lot brighter because it's next to the white so if i had to choose the families in which you know which ones go together the best these two and these two so the buffalo check red and the crimson large dot to me look like they're the closest color red even though they look completely different side by side and then the um bouquet red and the poppy red are probably the closest as far as that shade um and i think those two would look really good together because you have a basically a solid um next to an almost solid with a little bit of other color in it so those two go really well together now let's talk about this weirdo um 
this is weird. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people have been wondering what the hell is going on with this particular color. Um, I really couldn't tell you. Uh, it is, and I, I kind of took a risk on it. I do have a couple of things in this. Um, and it is a weird, weird red. Um, I don't even know what color it is. I guess it's red, but it's kind of pinky and it's kind of orangey. So it's one of those really weird colors that depending on the light it's in, depending on what it's sitting next to, it has a different color. So right now when I'm looking at it, it looks like a like a really dark silly putty color. So if you know like the traditional, the old classic silly putty, but now times that like by like five as far as darkness, that's what color this is. So now to me, this has like a pinky hinge to it. Um, sometimes, sometimes it has an orangey hinge. Sometimes it definitely has a more brighter sort of ready hinge to it. Right now, it's looking a little more on the, hi Sumo, uh, more on the pink side. But I have definitely been out someplace where I'm like, wow, this thing is looking really orange today. And then I've been other places and I'm like, wow, this is actually quite red. So this is like one of those morphe things. It just decides whatever it wants to be that day it's going to be. So if you're trying to match this thing, you're not going to be able to. So if you really have, a, a, if you're really fussy about colors, um, I would move him because if he's going to come back, he's going to knock everything over. So he's just going to stay. <laughs> um, so... Anyway, sorry about that. So anyway, so I I have a feeling that if you get this color and you're really fussy about, you know, matching everything exactly, this is going to drive you insane because like I said, every time I look at it, it seems to be different. Every light I'm in, it seems to get different. So let's just see them side by side. Um, so this is the poppy red. Actually, let's take away the, uh, the quilt. And then there's the contemporary rosewood red. I think it has a couple different names as well. So, hope that helps. <laughs> He's playing with the tag. So there you go. Um, and I'm really hoping you can see. It's so hard to get the light in here. Um, okay. And then this is the <laughs> this is the um, bouquet red. And yeah, very very different reds. Even though when see when I put it next to this, I can. The orange starts coming out from my from my vantage point. I start seeing a little bit of the orange come out, and then this is the crimson large dot. I don't think these really match at all for some reason. Um, see now when I'm looking at it, I see it looks very pinky. I can see the rosiness on it. Okay, and then next to the buffalo check red now for some reason at this very moment these guys look a little bit more similar <laughs> um if i were to choose which one i would pair together right now i would say these two but i I've, i have looked in other lights hasn't quite worked because i have a lot of buffalo check red and i have a a rodeo in this color in the um rosewood and i'm sometimes i sometimes i look at them i'm like yeah, these two don't, don't really work together today. And another day, I'm like, wow, they're a great match. So at this very moment, I guess in this light or in my mood or whatever, those two work really well together. So, so there we go. So this is sort of the weird one. Um, it looks good with other colors, but even still, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it looks great with blue. And other times you're like, why did, why am I sitting there with these two together? Um, the one I think the color that it's most consistently looks good with is an olive green because if you're, you know, like if it's on the pinky side, like on the rosy side, it still works. Uh, if it's on the bluier side today, it still works. If it's on the redier, on the oranger, oranger side, oranger. <laughs> um, so for some reason, this guy next to the olive green looks the best uh, if I had to sort of coordinate. But, you know, if you're trying to match with other reds, Good luck. Okay, so there we go. So I hope that helped a little bit. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm, I think I may have done, I think I've done everything else together. Um, I think I've shown you, because I know I've shown everything against that, against the uh, poppy red. So let's just see the crimson large dot against the, I don't know if I've done this or not, um, against the uh, bouquet red. Again, way more orange. You can really see how much more bright this is here. 
and then same I don't know if I've done this one either I keep forgetting which one I, st I started with but if you um, if I if I've done this already I apologize um, <clears throat> I did have a plan but then I believe it or not, the cat threw me off <laughs> um, okay so let's see if I can get these two side by side here there we go so that is the red on the buffalo check red so again a lot a lot brighter on this one I would not put those two together those are not the same reds at all I mean you know if you're really really into color smashing and pattern smashing literally you can do anything but if you're really fussy about these kinds of things I would not put those two together now okay so now let's compare it to <laughs> the resolve so let's see if we can see if again just in case you don't have any of these or if you have one of them but you don't have the others and you're not really sure how they relate I just thought I'd give you something else to relate it to so resolve and the poppy red I think are the closest in color um, it's gonna be a little bit different because this obviously is shinier and it's plastic so it looks a little bit eh, I don't know it looks a little pinkier because of that white undertone underneath it but as far as the actual color family I think they're really 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 close and then again very similar with the bouquet red so you can sort of get a sense of how well they match and how close they are hopefully that you can see that it's a little harder to see when this is so shiny and that one's not at all um, and then the crimson large oops sorry what am I doing crimson large dot next to the resolve now let's, let's do that end shall we So not bad. The uh, resolve is a definitely more orange, sorry, is a brighter red than the crimson large dot. Okay, and then the buffalo check red next to the resolve. So again, I'll try to see if I can get you just that red next to it. Hope that helps a little bit. I don't know if there's any way I can get the get these two next to each other without shadow. And I'll just do maybe that okay not bad that works for me I would I would I would definitely say those are a match oh let's do that maybe that's better I would say those work like those two colors work together and then lastly again this weirdo um, I guess hopefully you can now see they're really very different it's not really really red is it anymore so anyway so that's it. I hope that's a little bit helpful. Um, yeah, if I had to choose which ones to pair, uh, if you really are fussy, I would say the Crimson Large Dot kind of goes with everything because it's got that black and it has a little bit of that neutral look to it. So I think those two look fine together. This is definitely brighter, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that. Um, I've always sort of liked these two together. Um, I don't mind them together because you're really, really color uh, print smashing and color smashing. But because they're so opposite, they kind of, they kind of, they're like opposite the track kind of thing. Um, yeah, this is okay. Again, I get sometimes it works really well. Like okay, all of a sudden I'm looking at it, like maybe that's not so bad. Other days I looked at them like no, these two don't work at all. Um, so and then this guy I don't really actually own, but that's not terrible. So I kind of think this is like the more neutral of all of the reds. And I'm just seeing how bad this, this placement is right now for the first time that's really crooked and that's gonna bother me I don't know if you can see that but for the first time I'm just seeing how crooked that is um, okay um, and then so I I don't know I kind of find that this poppy red does seem to work with everything as well it does work with the bouquet I think it looks great with those two together um, yeah so the reds are actually take this guy out of the mix if you take him out all the other reds do actually kind of work together like I if I was into real if I was really into red and I was like trying to really go red today that would not none of those would look terrible side by side so no matter where you put them they actually do look pretty decent next to each other and I feel like if you are really a red person or if you're trying to celebrate Canada Day or if you're trying to do Christmas or Valentine's Day none of these guys would be off you wouldn't have any trouble really sort of mixing and matching unless you were really anal about exact 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 color and if that's the case then you're better probably just getting all the same color and not worrying about trying to mix and match uh, because they're definitely going to be slightly different so it really bothers you I know some people are super sensitive about that kind of thing um, I'm not as sensitive in general 
Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I could definitely, you know, see any of these guys with each other. Um, this guy, obviously, because it's solid, will go with anything. Um, to me, I find Buffalo Check Red to be a neutral. So to me, that kind of goes with everything, depending on the occasion. Um, and the Buffalo, sorry, the Buffalo, the um, Crimson Large Dot, it is what it is. You know, is it going to match everything? Probably not because it's, it's its own print. It's its own sort of style. So if you're really into, um, you know, color smashing and stuff, you're doing it fine. And this, just because it's got so many other colors in it, I don't know... Um, you know, I guess it could go with anything, but, um, also just, I'm just looking at this now. I'm just thinking if it stretches here, it's got that white, maybe I'm not getting a really accurate read because it has a white undertone. Maybe the actual true fabrication would look very, very different. So anyways, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was, uh, you know, somewhat educational for you to sort of, you know, get a sense of all the different, oh, sorry. I just dropped my metro. Uh, okay, uh, just to get a sense of all the different reds that Lug has at the moment. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If there's anything that you want me to check it on, like if you have, I don't know, some kind of packaging that you want me to say, like, hey, I've got this thing. If I happen to have it, you know, does it match this color? I will do my best to help you on that. Um, anyways, and let me know what you guys think. If this is, if these you know, red looks the same to you or not, because maybe I'm colorblind. I don't know. <laughs> so that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.